Good Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Coming out of Paris, the Sandman one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Kenny, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last long. But what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. Scoring with the right hand by Thomas. The ghost three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Targeting that one, two. The Sandman's the target of a hook. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Carter. The Sandman's defense is paying off now. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Thomas is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. And that's the end of round one. The Ghost's really impressing us here tonight. That last round, boy, he was on top of his game and all over his opponent. Played out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round, I would just look for for confidence to do more as sort of a good roadmap to maybe even get a knockout victory here. Put something on top of those uppercuts. You know the uppercut's landing. Now put something up top. Sharp three punches landing by Thomas. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Carter's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Carter's absorbing a hook. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Fires right back at him. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. He missed with that headshot. That's a nice right hand that time by Thomas. And now he's targeting upstairs. Thomas is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Move. Precision work with the left hand by Thomas. Uh, 
Thomas is able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stats. Don't stand in front of it. And round number three is underway. Gets rid of that body shot. Unable to make an impact there by the Ghost. The Ghost defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Thomas has got a way of just getting away from that punch. That's an impactful right hand by Thomas. The Ghost's really making his opponent question himself here. He doesn't know what's coming at him from what angle. Real good variety of offense. Well, that's the idea if you're the guy throwing the punches. You want to be creative. You know, you want to keep your opponent off balance. As you just said, you want to keep him guessing. You have a better chance of landing that. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Thomas. Right to the body. Carter's combination punching is working well here. He scored well after being hit himself. Carter's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Solid straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. That's great stuff. He yeah. fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Carter. Listen, this is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring, boy. Keep throwing. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. The Ghost is in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. Uh, he has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him. Carter's well off the mark that time. The Sandman's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like nice. giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. The ghost combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. The Sandman's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. He's trying to take away the wheels, going to the body with the double jab. Clean shot, returning fire, well done by Carter. <laughs> Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. The Ghost's right hand working well that time, he scored well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Me. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Thomas is doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's gotta be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. And round four comes to an end. You need the Sandman's defensive flaws in that last round were very, very costly. He's not doing a good enough job of simply protecting himself. No, I'm not sure that he knows how. The body, hit the body. Round number five has arrived. 
Francis looks to be a fighter who's ready to go here. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by the Ghost. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Thomas. The Sandman's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Carter. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Thomas is starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Carter's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Very nice work there. Jab, uppercut. Ghost's right hand scores well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Thomas's reputation is that of a guy who likes to punish an opponent. Well, then he's got a smile on his face tonight. Because all night long, that's all he's done. I don't know too many guys who don't like to punish their opponents. Show me one that doesn't. Especially when his opponent has been so agreeable. Head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and, and watch you take those shots. You understand? And we are underway for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for? The Sandman's landed a good, solid combination. Thomas is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Carter's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and saying, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covered up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. Not always protected. A solid uppercut by Carter. He missed that uppercut. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good combination by Thomas. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Non-stop energy from both guys in this round. The final minute is here. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Good work defensively by the Goats. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Carter's able to avoid that punch. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. They both decide to bring it. Carter's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. As we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's accomplished. Thomas is precision. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's not because he ate a lot of carrots when he was a kid. He has real good eyesight. It's because he's calm, he has good technique, and that is why he's right on the mark. Oh, 
underway it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see hard to envision this fight going to distance with how lopsided it's been keeps his hands up defensively protecting the head he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by carter Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Thomas has got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? He, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. the halfway point of round seven. Little volume punching to the body there. He's tired. He's tired. Move. Targeting that head with the combination punching. One. Good work by Carter. Nice work with the jab by Thomas. Oh, and they decide to trade there. The ghost's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Keep moving, keep moving. And this round comes to an end. You're in control of this fight. Well, don't get careless out there. You fight smart. Keep circling, keep circling. Don't stand in front of it. I need. Ghost's in control of this fight with a commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. He just looks like the kind of guy that's not going to be defeated tonight. No, he's made up his mind. And he didn't make his mind up, you know, and this is for the young fighters out there and whatever you aspire to do to move forward. He didn't make up his mind tonight. It was made up way before he got in the ring, and it's showing. He's getting the payoff. Good right. work there with the three punches in sequence by Thomas. Combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. As he takes, you saw it on that exchange. Hey, keep your feet moving. A well placed uppercut by Carter. <laughs> Thomas is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. The ghost getting back to basics. A good solid jab. Blocked by Thomas. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Thomas's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. That will keep him away. You gotta throw more. You gotta fight. You gotta throw more. Don't fight his fight.
start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. The Ghost doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Comes right back at him with a left hand. This deep into the fight, and they're both like runaway trains, non-stop. They're finding out things that they never knew about each other. They're finding it out to our benefit, where we can sit back and enjoy it. Carter's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The Ghost's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. The Sandman's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And that's the end of round nine. Come on. The Ghost's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. You gotta work, you gotta work. This is it, you have to work. No turning back now. 10th round is upon us, last round of the fight. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Thomas. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Commits to the straight right. Good work on the combination by the Ghost. That is a big, solid, perfectly executed combination. Carter's down. He's going to have to beat the count. Question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up. How does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now. He needs them right now. He is swinging for the fences, trying to get his man after being hurt himself. And just like that, he's able to turn things around. Remember, he was stunned. Now he's in control. Hey, remember when you have that eraser, that power? You can suddenly get rid of a lot of mistakes. Teddy, something's got to change defensively because this guy's getting... Thomas is tagged. And yet another big shot comes in. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Thomas's corner needs to really 
get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. A well-timed right hand by Thomas. Teddy, who would have ever thought it? Two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that it would go to a decision. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you thought you were going to get a firework display, and you wind up getting a little bit of painting. Dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. It was an easy one to score. I mean, he did it fundamentally well. It wasn't just with talent. He did it with the jab. He did it with control and range, going to the body. Great night. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.